Okay, now that I've covered the opposition, I want to cover two basic positions. One, which is always a win for white, which is the current position, no matter who wins, white or black. And then the, the next position, which is always a draw, no matter who is to move, white or black. And then other positions in the next lecture will start to depend on where the kings are, where the pawn is, etc. But let's get back to this position. This is always a win for white no matter who moves. So let us, let's say it's a white to move. Let's say the white king moves this direction. It can move either direction. Now if you think about it, if, um, if black simply moves this, um, this way, white's going to win easily by moving here and then this pawn just goes home. It's the only way for black to really to win in this position is to go this direction, which is it taking the opposition, but then white just moves the pawn up anyways. Now once again, the best move for bl black is to move back this direction, whoops, because uh, if it moves the other direction over to here, the c8, then uh, white just moves into here and easily wins. So black moves back. It's always a good idea if you're the opposing um, color, like black here, to try to stay in the same file as the pawn, because uh, with you on that file, it's you know it makes it more difficult for the opposite side, the king, the pawn. So, uh, but uh, now white just moves the pawn up, and the only move for black is to move out to here, and then the king moves up, and the pawn um, uh, queen's next move. So that is that always a win. So basically you just step to the side and let the pawn run up. So what is what happens if black is to move? Well in that case our job is much easier because whatever way black moves we're just going to move the king um, sort of the, to the other side, because if you think about it, if black is to move, that means white has the opposition, and the, and the king's basically stepping to the side, where before that wasn't the case. So let's say um, black moves to the side. Well, now white will just move to this side and uh, ram the pawn home. And if black moves to the other side, the white just goes this way and rams the pawn home. So even easier. So now let me go to the next position, which is always a draw. Let me set that up. Okay, set so the next position, but uh, maybe before I go on to this one, if you can recall the last position, just like uh, this position, it doesn't really matter where you move this position on the board. You can move all three of these, uh, you know, you can move them over to, uh, let's say, if you just move the identical position to here, it would be the same, or if you moved it to here, it would be the same. Um, the only case where it's different is that if, it's, if this is a rook pawn. So you can basically move the situation here and uh, the, the result will be the same. And that's true also for the last position. I forgot to mention that. It's um, You can move it anywhere as long as it's not a rook pawn. And I'll be covering that uh, in the next lecture, what happens when you have a rook pawn. So, but this position here is always a draw, no matter who moves. Now, it looks like if black is the move, maybe it's a win for white, but let me show you what happens. Well, what black wants to do is that on its first move, it wants to move straight back, because the goal is the, the white king's going to have to move up to one of these two sides, and when the king moves up, the black king is going to take the opposition. So in that case, black wants to move straight back. Now, it doesn't matter what side the king comes up. Let's try this side the white king. Black will take the opposition. Now notice the white king can't move up. And if it moves back, you know, black will just move back to its square and we basically where we started. So the only way for maybe for white to try to get anywhere is to move the pawn up, you know, giving check and then we come back. And then obviously the the white king is going to move away from the pawn to be captured, so the white king has to come here. Once again, black will just move straight back. Then maybe the white king will try this side. 
black will take the opposition. You know, the only thing white can do is really move the pawn. We sort of get back to the same position that where we were. Maybe white will try this side again. Black will take the opposition. Pawn up. And white moves here. And then if white moves away, it's um, white loses the pawn. And this way is actually still mate. Still mate, which is a draw. So that's how that position is played. Now let me just show you what happens if it was white's turn to move first. Well, that case is very similar. Obviously, white cannot move up, can't move away, down, so it just has to pick a side. Let's say we go to this side. Well, once again, um, black will just move straight back. Now, obviously, if the king just moves back or down, we're just going to move the, the black king back to this square right here. So, you know, and white wants to try to make progress, progress, so it's going to try to move the white king up, and then black just takes the opposition. Then once again, the only thing white can attempt to do, since white cannot move up, since all these squares are blocked by the king, because if black has the opposition, the only thing white can try to do is fancy the pawn. Black just moves back. Then we sort of get the same type of position. And this pattern continues. White will try to get a, you know, advance up, but no. Black will take the opposition. White will has nothing to do but advance the pawn. Then the white king, black king moves back. We have the same type of pattern. So that's how that works. So it's very similar to when black moved first. So as you can tell, um, no matter who moves in this situation, it's a draw. Now, of course, obviously if the king, black king runs away from the pawn, you know, uh, white will usually advance. But played correctly this by black, this position is a draw. Well, that does it for this lecture. So there you have it, um, two situations. One is always a win, and one is always a draw. Now let's move on to where uh, things become more complicated.